Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 1.7, the water cycle, or as you'll also see it, the hydrologic cycle. So the water cycle is, should be a familiar one to you. This is something that you've probably learned quite a bit from elementary and beyond. Um, every year they probably talk about it and you've done dioramas and stuff like that. Um, what I like to tell my kids, an easy way to remember a lot of these cycles is that to look at the ending of the words, um, most of the terms in this cycle, not all, but most, end up ending in the um, Asian, right? So this is what I tell my students is the Asian cycle. There's condensation, um, there's uh, evapotranspiration, or just transpiration as you'll see it, okay? Um, there's precipitation, okay? Um, and so, and then there's of course evaporation on its own. And you'll see transpiration in here. And then, of course, I always joke that you've got all these Asians and you got runoff. Okay, so um, you also have infiltration. Okay, so that's an easy way to kind of remember all these. But then you do see the term runoff around here uh, occasionally. But the trick is that water ends up being the uh, kind of medium for everything else to move. Right, so that's kind of the big important thing. And then, of course, up there's the other Asian I mentioned. Or I forgot to mention is sublimation. Okay. Okay, so um, lots of different terms here, but this tends to be the medium of movement. So when we're talking about nitrogen or phosphorus, um, sometimes even carbon, water moves a lot of these things and pushes them where they've got to go, right? Um, and again, because water ends up moving so quickly through the biosphere or through the atmosphere or through the ground even, it ends up moving things pretty well. Um, so it serves as an ecosystem, but it's also a cycle. And it's a medium on its own as well. So this is something to consider when you're thinking about the cycles. I know it seems like an easy one, but it's one where you can trip up if you don't pay attention to it um, and how it moves. And of course, the trick is water moves through the sun. Um, and our surface right now is covered with 71% uh, water, right? Now the bulk of that, 96.5% of it, is in the ocean, right? Uh, and then there's also about 1% or roughly about that as other saline amounts. So that leaves us with about 2.5% of fresh water. Okay, that's this up here. The thing is though, the fresh water is not it's, it itself very accessible as well. So glaciers and ice caps, this is down here, that's about 68, 69% of our fresh water. And then groundwater ends up being 30%, and then um, surface water itself is about 1%, okay? Uh, and so that ends up being kind of a big deal. So if you look right here, um, lakes, uh, swamps, rivers, those are very, very tiny amounts of our uh, water and that's what the current 7.6 or 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet are living on. So that's an important thing to understand that we're going to be talking about in later units several different um, discussions about where water comes from, the resources, uh, the way it can be polluted and stuff like that. But this unit or this part is just to let you know that these are all the different steps that you can go through and where the water itself comes from. And so water moves due to the sun. So you're gonna see the different physical phases, right? Solid, liquid, gas. Um, and then the big deal here is that most of our fresh water is stuck in those ice caps and they're not exactly accessible. Um, although unfortunately we are making them more accessible, which we'll learn about through climate change later on as well. Um, so very short unit, a very short topic in this one but still a very important one. So make sure you know what those terms mean, transpiration, um, uh, sublimation, uh, precipitation, those terms are gonna be known, but um, they're all very similar, so they're easier to, to kind of study through. And so here's some other resources if you wanna look through some water cycle basics. Um, and so hopefully that was helpful and um, we'll see you in the next video.